right? Social support. I really want to include this because I think loneliness um, and being alone is uh, getting increasing attention now as a, as a health risk um, for mental and physical health. So we're looking at social support. And surprisingly, actually, some of the studies show that uh, when doing the TRIA social stress test with a friend, it actually increases your stress response. But um, anyway, we're looking at how social support could be helpful uh, and we're looking at it in terms of providing resources. All right, the crossword puzzle in the book, or there's the link to the online one. Um, here are some stats uh, about loneliness. If you like, you can watch that video. It's not, it's interesting, but it's not great. And the doctors seem, it's pretty cheesy American daytime tally, I think. So, um, but anyway, it gets into it. All right, now this one, you can do the, uh, the TRIA social stress test, but you're going to do it in pairs. Uh, and you can compare people doing it by themselves and someone doing it with a partner and just see how their stress response uh, changes. You're not going to replicate the whole of Townsend's study because that would require doing a uh, emotional response type questionnaire and then matching people based on that and doing correlations. It's, it's a little bit more confusing. Um, but this is a good study that shows how doing something stressful with someone you feel a connection with can reduce stress. Okay, then we get the, the real key here is getting to social support. What's what? What is social support? There's structural and functional, um, and what are some examples? And then the guiding question for today's lesson is, um, again, you can, sorry, you can provide students with the choice here, watch, read, listen, lecture. Um, the guiding question, how and why is social support a risk and protective factor? This is, the reason I chose that terminology is just to get students to uh, be confident with this terminology that might appear in the exam. If low social support is a risk factor, then high social support is a protective factor, right? And so you're just looking at either side of that. And they can do that with anything we've looked at. If threat appraisals are a risk factor, then challenge appraisals are a protective factor. If uh, low status is a risk, high status is protective. Okay, so you get the picture. All right, and then basic, uh, one of my favorites to review um, is the traffic lights. And now I've gone and lost my mouse. Okay, all right. Um, so uh, these are some possible exam questions, so it might be a good chance to um, introduce them to the exam questions they might get. Okay, and then uh, that's the end of the social cultural explanations. Then we get into the genetics, and I really love this topic, and it would make a great paper one example for genetics as well. That's coming up next.